Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is going on for you all. What is manifesting for you at this moment. And what is happening in your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you are interested in looking for more confirmation or messages, you can take a look at your other placements. That's always an option. If And if you are interested in personal readings, I leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. <clears throat> okay. Pisces. What's been going on for Pisces? I'm seeing that you have turned your back towards a situation or a person here. Um, I'm seeing that in the past things have been progressing in a, a decision that you have made so we do have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun so i'm seeing that you've turned your back towards um someone and i'm seeing that you've had options here with the seven of cups i'm being shown that you have uh you've had some sort of choice I also see that there's been confusion over a person. I'm feeling that this has to do with a person. Feeling pulled in many different directions here. Uh, four of Pentacles. So I'm getting that somebody hasn't been hasn't been giving their all or hasn't been giving somebody has been very stubborn here and this has caused a lot of confusion as to where things are kind of going and I do feel that this is um, temperance reversed you haven't been totally at peace in the past but I'm getting that this is why you had to turn your back temperance reversed there was a lack of healing or there was a lack of balance um, or compromise. So let's take a look at you right now, Pisces. All right. So I am seeing that there's something that is worrying you that you're really in your head about with the Nine of Swords. Um, you may be losing sleep. Or you're anxious or I'm seeing stress over an ending so you're really in your head about this ending here what you thought was supposed to be lasting was supposed to be long-term um, this is something or someone that you, you really kept close in your heart here. And I don't think you expected it. I see that there's something that you're overthinking when it comes to an ending and when it comes to a commitment. I see you wanting to take action and wanting to, I'm saying that there's, there's a situation that you feel very passionate about um, and I see you wanting to go towards that, but at the same time, it's like you're either thinking that things could come to an end or it's already come to an end and now you're kind of like this is where do i go from here 
Uh, we do have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Like I said, this is something that you held very close to your heart. So let's take a look at the person on your mind. And if you don't have anyone on your mind, this is just someone who's in your energy field, Pisces. This person sees you as if you have other options or you're not sure of, about them. Seven of Cups. So this person sees that there's like, you got more than one person. They feel, they feel as if there's someone else in your life that has them in a third party situation or they're seeing you as if you have other options here. But they feel as if, um, right now I'm seeing this person doesn't feel, they're not feeling totally happy and they're not feeling like there's any sort of reconciliation or um, any sort of like coming together. I'm seeing that they're not taking any action right now. They're feeling like things are in limbo and they're... They're wanting to look at things from a different perspective, but they're not coming forward with how they truly feel about you. So Knight of Cups Reverse, it's they're they have feelings for you, but they're not acting on it. I'm seeing that this person is basically they're not planning on on coming towards you. It's almost like they're waiting for you to come towards them or they're not in communication with you but they're thinking about you a lot and they've thought about reaching out to you they're looking they're wanting to look at things from a different perspective because we do have the cassette so there's some sort of outdated thinking conditioning um, they've been replaying events over in their head so they've been replaying things a lot they've been looking at old messages I'm seeing something about looking at messages that you two had had so they still care but they're not they're not taking action and I don't see their intentions towards coming towards you knight of cups reversed they're not coming towards you with an offer they're pretty much like let God take the lead at this point because they feel as if there's more than one person or you have other options in the picture um all right, so let's take a look at the near future for you, Pisces. Near future for Pisces. Ten of Cups, wow. Ooh, Pisces. I'm seeing that there's someone coming into your life here. Ten of Cups. This looks like there's a new beginning in love for you. Someone new is coming into your life. And I feel like this is soulmate. Like literally, we have three confirmations here. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, soulmates. Wow, soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. There's someone new coming into your life, Pisces. And it's going to be a very emotional new beginning. It's going to be a very emotional new start for you two. But it's going to be good feelings. A lot of emotions, ten of cups. This is, this is soulmate energy. This is someone who I see something very long term with. All right. There's also passion between you two. But I'm seeing that you're you're a little bit guarded. You have your guards up. Somebody's trying to get closer to you, wanting to get closer. Um, there's a lot of 
potential here and I'm seeing that this is someone who you feel you feel you're gonna feel a very strong emotional connection to this person and it might scare you a little bit I'm hearing this is the real deal Pisces Sorry, Ten of Cups was there so this is this is someone who I see you having a family with something long-term a marriage even let's take a look at the outcome for you Pisces you could be falling in love right now and I'm seeing that I'm seeing that for some you may have already come across this person recently um, but if not there's someone coming in who does look like it is a, a soulmate connection here so one card please for the outcome for Pisces outcome all right I'm seeing challenges I'm seeing that with this ten of wands there's something that I see you taking responsibility for uh, because something has stopped moving the chariot reversed I'm seeing that there's There's, there's something that you're getting very close to, which is I'm seeing a completion of a tough cycle for you. I'm seeing a sudden change. Somebody is communicating with you, but I see that this, this, there's someone who you feel like is a burden in your life here. Um, that it feels like it's hard work. I'm seeing that there's a challenge. Five of Wands, so it's like trying to get on the same page. There's some sort of misunderstanding. I'm seeing so there. I'm see. I see that you're losing some sort of willpower. There's something that is being slowed down. This could have to do with a friendship because I'm seeing coffee cup meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So. I do see that for some this has to do with a friendship. But someone's coming in out of the blue. They're coming in with a lot to say. A lot that's been on their mind. Um, coming from a place of being upset as well though. But I don't see you giving up. In the outcome you're not giving up. So let's get some... some details and specifics for you Pisces I'm seeing uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Libra Gemini Aquarius here Ooh, I'm seeing 10 10 10 10 All right, I'm seeing that there is a huge responsibility in your outcome that has to do with money. You have money coming in, but it's going to be a very, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a huge responsibility for you. Um, there's something challenging about it, but you're not going to give up. I do see you dating or someone coming in wanting to date you or court you. There's a mature woman, either you or them or somebody who is older. I also see we have an ice queen. This also typically resembles someone who is older. So someone could definitely be, be older here. Um, something about the winter time is when I see you meeting this soulmate. I, I see twin flame. So I see that in the past you turned your back towards someone that you felt a strong twin flame connection with. Or somebody had turned their back. And now you're you're in your head about it. Because you felt as if that was your person. So let's get a few more cards. Is there anything that... That... Pisces should know. For some of you, you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Is what I'm hearing. Sagittarius. Step out of your comfort zone. 
I'm seeing Spirit is telling you to step out of your comfort zone towards uh, something, something new. Because that's, I'm hearing this is something that will bring you, um, it will bring you money once you do step out of your comfort zone. Conclusions are within reach. So there's a conclusion coming in for you towards uh, a cycle where you've been overly worried and stressed out and anxious. Your, your worries are coming to an end, Pisces. Don't let your past hold you back. So I'm seeing that. This is a this is a message to to some of you that it's saying to step out of your comfort zone. Don't stay in a situation because you're comfortable in it, um, because it's not good for you, or it's some of you you know it's not good for you, or it could be toxic, a situation that has turned toxic, or a situation that at one point you were happy in, but it's not fulfilling you anymore. Spirit is saying it's time to step out of your comfort zone. Because I do see that there's someone who is holding you back from everything that you can be accomplishing or better opportunities or this soulmate here. Because if you stay in your comfort zone, then you're only delaying a process towards meeting your soulmate. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.